Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Y'all, I am back to make a quick little mini album. I'm going to try out this technique. I've been thinking about stapling my pages in and so forth. So I thought I would try it out and I am going to be utilizing this super sweet Simple Stories Little Princess paper that I got today. Um, I absolutely love this paper. It is so fun and cheery. And I thought it would just be fun to make a make an album out of. So let's just get going. Okay, so you're going to need two pieces of chipboard, and the chipboard is going to need to be measured seven in height by four and a half for both of these. And then a, a spine piece is going to be two inches by seven. The base paper that you're going to need, and I'm just going to use the um, I'm just going to use the decorative paper, and it's 12 inches by eight. And I've already scored it. I've already scored it on half an inch on three sides. Don't worry about the fourth side. Um, well, that one will just fold up, but I like to go ahead and score just to make sure that we have, it, have our chipboard right where we need it. Now, I went ahead and I scored everything. I've already did it a lot off camera to save time, and I wanted this to be on the outside. That's why I just flipped it over. Okay, so let's just get started. So our first chipboard is going to go right over here, and you can kind of fold up, fold up where you've scored to kind of get it snuggled down in there. I've already added pa um, my tape to it, so I'm going to just go ahead and get the tape. Okay, so let's just do the first one. Okay, I should have just peeled off one, but I'm just going to go with this. Try for the best. And just get it done there. It helps to have these score marks. I know it's hard for you to see it, but they are there. Just try to get it as, as straight as you can. Nothing is perfect. Let's go ahead and let's get our piece of chipboard in there. I'm going to use this other piece of chipboard to kind of measure about how far apart I want these. You're going to leave about an eighth of an inch. Right in there. Okay, and now I'm going to put my last piece, it's going to go over here, and I have a little less than a half an inch, but it's okay, it's going to be fine. Get this all peeled off. And now I'm going to get this one positioned right where it needs to go, leaving about an eighth of an inch. Using that little the fold. And I've got a little bit less than a half an inch on this one end. It's okay. So there we go. Now we've got it. It's going to fold really good. And let's go ahead and let's use our bone folder and get this all smoothed down really good. that it adheres really well. Isn't that ombre? Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's um, get the scissors over here and let's miter our corners. Just like that. Don't get too close. Leave a little bit of space. Now these right here, you gotta be careful because I have less than a half an inch there. But it's gonna work, I know it is. And you could actually put your tape on here first if you wanted to. That's up to you. Let me get this trash out of the way. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get our sides folded up. Let me get it folded. Right where it needs to be. Okay. So I'm going to 
grab my score tape. I'm using my my um, quarter inch score tape. And I'm gonna, gonna put it all the way around the edge. Since these are half inches, you could make it a little bit thicker, but I think I'll add in the, um, I'll just do this for now, see how I feel once I get going. As I was sitting in there, I was sitting in there watching TV with my hubby and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna make a mini album out of that and I'm going to put my pages in a little bit different than using the hinge, hinge system. Okay. So, got that. Let's make sure this is all pressed down really well. Okay, so I'm gonna peel this up. this down really well. Always do the top and bottom first and you can always take it like this and fold it over too. And there you go. And then just use your bone folder. Press it down really, really well. Get our end. Actually, yeah, it looked pretty good. I didn't even tuck in my edges there. And this one, I'm gonna do this one carefully because I'm lacking a little bit of paper over here. And close enough. Okay, so right here, it came almost completely came together. If I wouldn't have cut it a little bit farther, but it's okay, we'll cover it up with paper. So now I'm just gonna take it, I'm just gonna fold. Look how beautiful that cover is. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so there's our cover. Now, for our pages, you're going to need eight pages and you're gonna need to have them cut at six in height by eight and a half okay and you're gonna score at four and a quarter I've already gone ahead and I've already scored all of them cut them all I've already got my eight all ready to go so now just determine what color what you want where um, like these have flowers on them and I did this because some, I liked some of the insides Maybe I'll flip this one. So I think I'll go, I think I'll go this way like this. So that'll be the order that I'm gonna have my pages in, okay? And so what you're going to need to do now is put that aside, take a piece of paper and it measures six in height. Let me see my width by six and a quarter. And I went over about two inches, actually the wrong side I was showing you. Um, I went over about two inches, as you see, I drew over about two inches. And then on my grid, I laid it on here on my grid. And then I, I actually, okay, here's the side I started in. Almost got myself confused. But there's my line. Okay, there's my line that I drew. It's two inches, a little bit more than two inches, okay? So I started, I made myself a line every quarter inch. So there's a quarter, there's four, there's one inch right there, and each quarter inch I made myself a little line. And then I did four more tick marks, and then I kind of went over just a little bit so I could have about an eighth of an inch after that. And that way then, whenever I put my papers 
on here, I'm going to staple them and I'm gonna use these lines as a guide. Okay, I'm gonna use my these as a guide so I know where to put them whenever I staple these on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to line it up and I'm gonna grab, let me grab, let me grab a paper clip just so I can make sure to hold this in place. Okay, so I had to stop and grab a paper clip. So I've lined my paper up with the first line and lined it up at the top. That way they're gonna be straight and I'm gonna hold it carefully so it doesn't move out of place and I'm just gonna stick a paper clip over here so it will not move and I'm going to utilize my staple my stapler that my daughter gave me for Christmas and I'm going to staple my pages in. So I'm gonna line it up, I can see my score line and I'm gonna line it up and I'm gonna line them up and I'm gonna do three staples as straight as I can and at the top and the bottoms. Just like this. Now you can take this off because now we have our first page is going is right there already adhered in. Now I didn't get it totally right on the crease. We gotta make sure we get it on the crease. Because as you see here, it kind of pulled my paper up. So I'm gonna fix that. I want to fix that. I want to move my one staple over just a little bit. See y'all, I'm not taking this out. I'm not going to take this out because I want you to see that it was important for us to, for me to get that stapled right on that line. That way then when it folds, there, I got it right on the line. That way when it folds, it folds just right properly like it's supposed to. Okay, I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to do the other one. He used to always pick out these staples, <laughs> pick them out like this instead of using a staple puller. And one day someone sent me a staple puller. <laughs> I do have one, y'all. It's just in my drawer. Okay, let me let me get this stapled again because I want to make sure I'm right on that crease, right on the fold. And there I go. Now that's better. Okay, so now I've got my first page. Now I'm going to fold it over, and as you see here, I got some holes in here. It doesn't matter. It's all going to be covered up. Okay, so I'm going to grab my next one. I'm going to I'm going to hold these still. I'm going to keep them like that. Eight. They're like a quarter inch apart. I'm going to hold that still. Grab my paper clip. I'm going to that way I can, that way there's gonna be an eighth of an inch or a quarter inch in between each one of my pages. Let me grab my other paper clip just to keep everything in line. I'm gonna do my best to get it right on the line. It's hard when it's a darker paper. Okay, so here we go. Not too bad. Let me fix that one too. Y'all, just gotta make sure I get these stapled straight. Right on the crease. Better. Right on the crease. And right on the crease. You could probably do two staples as well. There you go. That's pretty good. That one turned out good. I'm going to fold it over carefully, making sure I have everything nice and straight. I'm going to do the next one, line it up with the line. 
and you just keep going until you're at the end. Lining them up. Fold it together with the paper clips. I can see this one better. Not bad. Okay. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to finish these up and I'll be right back. See, look at that. We're getting our pages and they're adhered onto the base that we're going to put in our album. I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm on my last page. Got all my other pages and I realized what I was doing, why my sables were off from my crease, is because um, I wasn't, I was trying to go by the end and actually it goes in about a, a hair right there. And so I needed to make sure I had it overhang just a little bit, just to make sure that I got these in correctly. Last one. So that one went in pretty good. Had to make sure I could see the crease. Okay, that one went in pretty good. Just fold them over carefully. Now you have all your pages adhered, okay? So let me get rid of my staple gun over here, or my stapler. I'm just gonna use my eraser and try to get rid of a little bit of the lines here. I'm gonna cover it up anyway, not sure why I'll worry about that. Okay, so now we have all our pages in our ready to go in our book. Now I'm gonna flip this over. We're gonna put some tape on the back. I'm gonna tape it really well because I want to make sure it stays. So you can see there's the tape. I'm gonna put it over where the staples are. this up. I told y'all this is going to be so simple. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so simple. It's easy. Okay, I'm pressing it down over where those staples are. Just want to make sure that it's down as far as I can get it. Make sure that your tape is pressed down really well. And let's get over here. We're gonna get our get our cover. I love the paper, it's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna peel off peel off these first. I think I'll go ahead and peel off almost all of them. And because I have the staples here, I'm going to add a little bit of extra glue. I'm going to put some glue on here. It gives me a little wiggle room as well. I'm 
and I'm putting it down on my, my cover. This is an easy way to do this if you, you know, if you have a hard time doing the hinge system or, you know, doing it, a, putting your binding in a different way. This is an easy way. Okay, now center this up. And actually, I don't have that tall enough. Okay, so I'm gonna have to add, I'm gonna have to add more glue. I don't have my paper down tall enough. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and then we can add that on. That way it doesn't have any brown showing. So let me make the decision of which one I want to do. Sorry for my arm there, y'all. Okay, so I went ahead, I cut a solid piece and I've gone ahead and put tape on the back. My solid piece is about 11 and an eighth by six and seven eighths and it will and just measure right up inside okay that's what I want to do now I'm just gonna peel off one little corner so I can try to get this on here as straight as I can just take it and hold it up to the edge just making sure that everything is gonna be looking like let me get you out just a little bit y'all we want to make sure everything is right up inside here where it needs to be as straight as you can because this is a pretty good snug fit here I'm gonna down here on this end gonna fold, hold it down press it down hold this other side in place that's looking good pull this off now that covered up where I cut my paper a little bit too short. Now I'm just gonna lift this up. I'm going to peel off all my other tapes. And this part will be done. We'll be able to get that spine right back over it. sure it's good and covered I don't really like using glue on this because I like my paper to be nice and flat and adhered and and there we go now we've got it all covered up let's make sure we can uh, get this folded get everything pressed down real good see how that's looking If you do something and you think, oh my goodness, I've just made a mistake. No, nah, it's it can be fixed. Look at that. That looks real good. I'm going to kind of fold it in. just want to gently use my bone folder. Work the paper a little bit. And there we go. Look at that. That looks good. Okay, now, now that my art glitter glue is dried, I'm going to put some more. And then we're going to do this again. This is one time I wish my glue wouldn't have dry so, dried so fast, but it's all good. That was a quick save. Make sure that you're having your paper go in the right direction. If you have a directional print, I'm going to turn mine sideways so I can make sure I'm getting this centered from the top and the bottom. And I actually could have made this a little bit shorter. That's okay. This gives me extra space in here. So there we go. Now I'm going to peel up this edges. Get this last piece of tape that I left on there. And I'm going to peel them off. 
you could have made your album a little bit shorter, made the pages a little taller. That's up to you. I'm going to not worry about it. This is for me. You could have probably did another quarter inch on your page height. Or maybe went down um, about a quarter inch on your cover. But I think it's going to be okay. So there we are. Just want to make sure everything is looking good. And see how that is? I've got a little bit at the top and the bottom. It's okay. Not going to worry about it. So now I got, I'm going to work my cover. Carefully get this work in here. Like it. How cute is that? I'm gonna work this with these pieces right here. I'm gonna smooth all this down. there okay so now I'm gonna work this one and now my pages are up inside my book you see that so I have about half an inch on each side if you wanted to make it a little shorter you can but I think it's okay because you know what I can add paper clips and different things sticking out of the top and they'll still be down in my book where it won't be so snug so, okay, I like this technique. Now let's cover up these edges over here. I've got this right here, it needs to be pressed down a little more. I came in here in my craft room to talk to my dad on the phone and, yeah, talked to my dad and never made it back out in there. Okay, I've got a little buckling right here. I'm going to work on this. Okay. Not too bad. Look at that. Okay. So now let's just let's just uh, cover these parts up and uh, we're almost done. How cute is this? I like this. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put something heavy on it for a second. Just hold it down while I decide what color papers I want to put inside. So let me see. I love, love, love this. Isn't that darling? Oh, my. Atlanta is so cute. These are just absolutely darling I think I might cut these and put it in the inside covers. Okay. So let's get this going here. So I'm just going to cover this up. If you wanted to make this piece a different color, because y'all, I'm just playing around here. If you want to make it a different color, you can do that. Or I can always bring my paper over like this and cover it up. And I think that that's what I'll do, just to cover it up. And then I'll just put it on the fold. So let me see here, I wanna cut it about right there. Grab my paper trimmer. determine if I want to cover that or what and I think that it would be okay just to bring it in just a little bit you can put some good tape on there to hold it down and you only needed that pink paper underneath just so you can 
cover up because my thing was short and I needed it a little longer. This is trial and error, my friends. And this is how it is. I dreamed this one up while I was sitting in the living room. So, I'm going to do a front one. And then we'll worry about, we'll do the other one. Actually, let me go ahead and get it measured. Let's see if that's going to work. When I put that in, I think I have that a little bit closer to the front. So that would be a little bit... Um, it. I'm going to need it about right there. I'm going to just make myself a mark and then I'm going to cut. Okay, so now I got myself two pieces. Let's see how this works. Put this I'm gonna cover it right here oh my goodness that is so stinking cute or I could do this side oh no we don't want to cover that up it's so cute okay so now I think for this one I'm just gonna get my uh, I'm gonna put a piece of score tape around the edges and mainly on this side because over here is where I'm gonna have it up we're closer past that spine area. I'm gonna put this right along this edge. I'm going to peel this off and go from the center out. Okay, so I know I was out of frame there, but it's all good. It's all good. I was just peeling off my tape. up. Oh, how sweet is this paper? Okay, now let me grab this and peel this off and get this stuck down. Okay, look at that. It's an easy save, y'all. So cute. And look at that and then on the fold just gently work the paper so you can have the fold I could have just put this one all across the bottom and I would have been it would have been okay look at that that looks really good okay I'm gonna finish the other side be right okay, back y'all so I put the front page in here's all our pages look at that now, what I should have did is I should have did my base in a color, but it's okay. The white is barely showing, so I've got plenty of pages. This was eight pages, so it made 16, piece, 16 pages front and back, actually, so you can decorate them, add photos in or whatever. Look at that in that, darling. Oh, he is so cute. So now I'm just going to... Put a little embellishment on the front and I'm just I just chose this one out of the collection I layered it up as you see here and I'm just gonna adhere it on so I'm just gonna get some double-sided and get this all Pressed on is nice and 
as I can. But how cute is this? Oh my goodness, so, so cute. Okay, y'all, I hope that you like this. Um, I, I went a little longer than I was expecting to because I had to do a little trick and fixing things and this and that. But anyway, how sweet is this little album? Oh my goodness, you can add pictures in it. You can add whatever you want. And it's super cute by using, just stapling it in. That worked out great. So you didn't have to worry about hinges. But look at that, how sweet is this? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you'll give it a try. And you have a great night. Bye.